Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. In the last episode, we went ahead and did the first quest that required us to go harvesting. Uh, and now there's a new guy here, that uh, Bull the Crafty, uh, he's a mender. And he doesn't have a yellow uh, uh, ball above his head, he has a green one with a little feather in it. Uh, that represents trade crafting quest. This will be the first one we've done, so we're going to go ahead and talk to him, uh, let him introduce us to trade crafting, uh, and see what he wants us to do. Greetings, I noticed you harvesting out there. Are you interested in trying your hand at making something out of them? Sure, why not? Is it hard? Nay, not hard at all once you wrapped your head around it. But I'm not the one to keep talking all day. Why don't you just jump in and try? Okay, what do I do? If I had a hammer is the name of the quest. It's level 5. Uh, and of course you get uh, 5 silver, 96 copper at least. And then, of course, you want to make sure down here on the bottom you get Faction, 250 for Ravens of the of the North, as well as uh, this item that can be placed in your book. Go ahead and hit Control button and click on it, and you'll get to see what it's going to look like. Close that down. It's kind of cool looking, so go ahead and hit Accept. Pick up a copy of my Lucky Charm recipe over, over there beside me. Inscribe it into your recipe book. Then grab some coal from the sack. You also need one of the tin clusters and lead clusters that you harvested earlier, and make sure you have them with you in your bags. I'll go get those items now. So the little item that he was talking about here is right here. It's the recipe. Just click on it, and it will automatically add it to your uh, inventory. Now you have to go into your inventory, right-click on it, hit scribe, and it will scribe it into your recipe book. The sack of coal is right here in front of you as well. Just click on that. You gather the coal. And now you're ready. It says I should ensure that I have the tin lead clusters in my bag and then use the mender's anvil to craft. So as you can see the anvil is right in front of them and you are able to highlight it. So go ahead and click on it. And since uh, this is a special anvil, it won't show all the recipes you may have, although this is the very first quest we have. Uh, so this is the only recipe we have at the moment. So go ahead and click on it and say create. Now this is the recipe It shows that you need one tin cluster one lead cluster, and uh, one crude coal. You're always going to need some kind of fuel component when you're making your stuff. Uh, different components for different tiers, different components for different uh, uh, trade crafts. So go ahead and hit begin. Now you see these buttons down here on the bottom. There's six of them and basically there's only three because they just repeat. Now these first uh, three right here will decrease progress but increase durability and these second three will reduce uh, durability but increase progress. So you can actually press these things alternating through them as if you see I press this first one it grays out the other one. If I press this one it grays out the other one. And occasionally down here in this little box that's down here on the bottom that's uh, clear right now one of these uh, pictures will pop up. When it does you want to hit the corresponding picture for it. But you can either increase progress or increase durability while lowering the other one. Now progress is the uh, the green bar. Durability, no, 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 I'll take that back. Progress is the blue bar. Durability is the green bar. So you want to make sure that you keep them both moving upwards. That you want if, if the durability falls too low, it will actually drop down to the third level, and this top one will disappear, and then drop down to the second level. And if it drops down too low, uh, you will fail to make the item. Uh, you also won't make the best item you possibly can if it's not four levels. So be very cautious about that. Again, you can click these buttons throughout the entire process, but when one of them pops up, you want to make sure you hit the right symbol. Uh, sometimes you get unlucky and you just hit the button split second uh, after the little button pops up, uh, and that will actually damage your progress and your durability a great deal because you hit the wrong button. It's almost better not to hit anything at all than to hit the wrong one. So another thing to consider when you're doing these. Let's go ahead and close that down. We finished off the quest. You managed to craft Lucky's Wolf Paw, 7 Strength, 7 Agility, 7 Stamina, and uh, applies Lucky Wolf Paw when activated, lasts for 31 minutes, 48 seconds, increases speed of caster by 17%. This effect is suspended during combat. This casting time of Lucky Paw is 0.5 seconds, and the reuse time of the spell is 1.5 seconds. So go ahead and close that, and it should, I should return to Bull the Crafty, so we're going to go ahead and talk to him close down the little menu. Uh, how did you make out? Was my recipe simple enough? Uh, I made a lucky wolf ball charm. 
Uh, congratulations, you seem to have the right knack for crafting things, if I do say so myself. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about crafting, you should look up a professional trade skill tutor who can tell you more uh, into details. Uh, thanks, I might do that. So the quest isn't completely over yet. Uh, we still have to go over to the town and turn it in uh, to somebody in New Hollis. And we're going to go ahead and do that now as well. Hey guys, and welcome back to EverQuest 2. Now this will be the second part of If I Had a Hammer. It comes from Bull the Crafty. Uh, and I left you guys here last time and told you I'll go ahead and walk you over to where you need to go. Now at the time, I figured you needed to walk through the entire zone to get there, but I actually found a short route uh, into New Hollis that we can take rather quickly. So we're going to go ahead and head over here to this direction. Now you're welcome to wait here for the boat if you prefer, uh, or you can swim. Now, swimming usually takes a little bit longer than this, but I'm wearing a mount uh, that we recently got for one of the quests. And if you're interested in that, you can watch some of those videos and you'll see exactly where to get those. It's highly worth it to do that quest line, in my opinion. Uh, and you'll see just exactly how fast I'm going. I'm actually going faster than the boat itself. Uh, so that's rather cool that you can get one at level 20, or even at level 19 if you uh, uh, do it in the right order. Now, if you come over here to the side, usually uh, the quest will be over here at this little camp. Uh, this is the next little area that you're going to be hunting in. But you can come over here to this little corner. And you'll see this little this little gap, basically, in the wall. And you can sneak up this little area, and it goes right up the little mountain into this little cave. And as you can see, it's quite steep. It'd be uh, one heck of an exercise to come up here. And here you go, you're now in New Hollis. And as you can see, this is the town. So I'll zoom out a little bit. And here you go. Now, if you're not sure where to go inside New Hollis, you can hit the map. And you'll see this is the area they want you to go right over here. So we'll go ahead and put a little wisp on. The way to get over here is through this tunnel right here. This will lead you to the trade crafting area. This will go up a little further. So as you can see, you're, we're basically climbing to the top of the mountain. And here we go. We're in the trade crafting area. There's also houses that you can purchase in this area so that you can uh, start putting down some of the furniture or house items that you've uh, gotten from Quest. And the person we're looking for is right here. Go ahead and walk over to the other side of her so we can see. Or to him. And he is uh, Glenn Hammerhem. We're going to go ahead and talk to him and see what he wants. And that finishes off the quest if I had a hammer level 5. Uh, you get your little handbook. Again, you can put this inside your house. Uh, it looks rather cool. And you get 10 silver and 72 copper. We're going to go ahead and hit accept. Uh, you have learned how to gather, harvest, and whether or not you decide to learn a trade skill profession, you'll, f you'll find harvesting can be a useful and profitable pastime. Are you interested in reviewing the crafting process? So we're going to go ahead and stop the quest here, guys. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.